This is a blend extra. Today we are going to give your grilling game a big time upgrade. Chef Kate Luloff is back from Jones Dairy Farm to make double bacon wrap brats with stone ground mustard vinaigrette. How good does that look? What's up, Chef Kate? How are you? I'm doing great. It's wonderful to see you. You too. Thank I, you. I think we're all looking for a way to kind of mix things up a little bit. Yes. Uh, we all go to our, you know, cookouts or we or we throw stuff on the grill at night and it's either chicken or broths or hamburgers or, you know, always, exactly. kind of, always kind of the same thing. So this is a way to elevate it a little, do something different, wow your family a little bit. So, so yeah. tell us how it's done because I think the picture with the sandwich and, and some sides just looks fantastic. Awesome. So it's super easy. It's double bacon because we're going to use two slices of bacon. Okay. So we just have our brat. You can uh, store brat, store bought or store brand brat, whatever your favorite brand is, or if you like a a particular meat market or butcher shop, go get them from there wherever you want. I know you have them at the Jones Dairy Farm Market. We do. In Fort Atkinson. We do. Okay, so mm -hmm. what kind of bacon? Because you know what my favorite one is. I do, and I'm using the cherry wood. Oh, I yeah. I know that's, that's your my favorite. favorite. Yep. There it is. This is the thinner slice, so this is going to work better for wrapping the brat. You don't want the real thick like we use for a lot of our other recipes. Just because uh, it's not gonna, the bacon's gonna gonna take a, quite a while to cook through, and then your broth's not gonna get cooked. So. Makes sense. So we're just okay. wrapping this around. I'm gonna secure it with some toothpicks for cooking. Okay. And then we are going to. No, would you use toothpicks? I know we're using a cast iron skillet today. Yep. Would you do yep. that whether you're using cast iron skillet or the grill? I still would. You don't have to. That just might come a little bit loose. You know, the bacon might come loose a little bit if you don't use the toothpick. But I like to secure them that way. If you're flipping them back and forth, you know, you don't have to worry about the bacon coming off. So. Simple as that, and then they're going to go right into either the skillet or, like you said, on the grill. Yeah, talk to us about the grill because yeah. um, it, it's a little different. I know you did some video at home to we did. show us because we're up in everybody's grilling game. Yeah, and that's what you're seeing there, too. So uh, if we do them on the grill, sometimes you'll get a little flare up from the bacon, which is fine. Just keep a spray bottle nearby and spray it off. You can do your peppers and your onions, which we did in a separate skillet. You can do those right on the grill as well. You can toast your buns on the grill and then all the mess is outside, so that's great too. Or if you don't have it, or if it's raining and, you know, crappy yeah, weather, you can, do, you can it do it inside. Yep. All right, I'm going to let you clean it up in a second, but first, okay. let's talk about the bacon because yes. it's special. This Jones Dairy Farm, I mean, all of the products are special, uh, but it's the ingredients and it's how it's made. It is. Fresh ingredients. Uh, everything we make is certified gluten free, so we bring those fresh bellies in. They are very specific to what we're asking the company that provides those bellies for. So they send them in, we cure it, we smoke it, we hang it, it's dry aged, so all that extra water evaporates and all that flavor is left behind. Naturally smoked. Bacon, Naturally smoked. Which Never I love any it. liquid smoke. And the chips smoke. even are from a special place. Yes, yeah. yes. Cherrywood chips from Door County, hickory chips from locally locally sourced places in Wisconsin as well. So. There you go. Okay, we're plating it up, and this is fascinating because you kind of okay. hollowed out the bun. I did. Just scooped it out, kind of cut around and scooped it out so that our sausage there it is. broth's there, gonna fit right out. in there. See that? Yep. Okay. There you go. But then she toasts it on the grill, or you can do it inside, and then she puts slices of cheese to kind of melt, puts it in the skillet. Just with give it a little bit. On. Yep. Just a little bit of heat with that cheese, and it'll melt away. Okay. And then we're going to take our brat here, take your take toothpicks, toothpicks out. out. We're going to put that in and then just layer your mm. peppers and onions. Look at that. The stone ground vinaigrette is very simple. It's just uh, some stone ground mustard, some Dijon, a little red wine vinegar, a little olive oil. I'm going to let you put that on there and also okay. mention that we got these beans in this little crock pot here. It's got a pound of bacon in this and it is the cherry wood smoked, which I absolutely love. Yes. Look at this brat. I mean, who wouldn't love that? That's serious grilling right there. <laughs> Chef Kate, thank you so much. Want to make sure that people know that to find the recipe for the double bacon wrap brats, you can go to jonesdairyfarm.com. There's also a product locator there. Put in your zip code and you can find any product you want.